This video is sponsored by BetUS. Follow my pinned Twitter post and my Instagram story for more details and use promo code JOIN125 to start betting your favorite sports. Chess Cooper, uh, the dominant FC featherweight uh, champ, is now slated to fight Felipe Colares. That fight should uh, take place at UFC Fight Night 2 1. Oh. I got to say that Chase Cooper was having ups and downs since his arrival into the UFC. He stopped Daniel Tamer. He arrived in the UFC at 20 years of age, you know, and he used to be... He arrived as a very, very great BJJ expert, as a great ground fighter. He TKO'd Daniel Tamer. He hooked Peter Barrett. He was losing that fight, but then in round three, he literally resurrected and uh, defeated him. And lost uh, two fights via decision Alex Caceres and uh, Steven Peterson. Chase Cooper is a very, very tall fighter. 10 to 1. And 6 foot 1, 75.5 inches. Very tall for a featherweight black belt in BGG. Felipe Colares, 5 foot 9, 69 inches of reach. Cooper is going to have 6 inches of uh, reach advantage. Colares is also black belt in BGG, black belt in Judo. 10 3 is his score. Chris Gutierrez outworked him. Montel Jackson outworked him. Also, Geraldo De Freitas. He was better than Domingo Pilarte and uh, Luke Saunders. And uh, yeah, he's a pure of a BJJ fighter with only one KO victory. But uh, I believe this is the clash of very much similar fighters. From what I've seen, the former jungle fight featherweight champ is very, very hard to finish, very hard to submit. He knows defense submission attempts very well. So. I do think that Chase Cooper is going to have a very hard time finishing this guy. I might uh, believe uh, we're going to see the reprise of the match between Chase Cooper and Peter uh, and uh, Steven Peterson. That's what I believe uh, might happen. And uh, for this fight, I'm going to say I'm going to say fight goes over 2.5. That's going to be my pick. If I have to pick a side, then we're going to go with uh, Felipe Colares.